Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm your girl, Julissa Chavez, And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got this beautiful bright under eye pink blush look. Y'all been seeing this look all over TikTok. It's a new way for sure. And I absolutely love doing my makeup like this. So if you're interested on how I achieved my bright under eye pink blush look, keep on watching. Alrighty, so first things first, I'm gonna take a natural tone concealer, something that's about two shades lighter than me. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige. I'm just going to start applying it to the face with my finger, right in the center and down the sides of my nose. It's really nice and bright and it also has like a yellow undertone so it's going to avoid any flashback. Now you could totally stop there and continue the rest of your process but I wanna go a lot brighter. I want this to look like a filter and the flash I want it to like really be popping. So we're gonna turn it up a lot. Now I'm gonna take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Flat White warm that product up with any excess that I had from before. Look at that, like paint. And I'm gonna tap this right on top. Now with the white concealer, I'm going to keep it right in the center. So I'm going to apply it in the center and I'm also going to blend it out right in the center only. I'm going to set it with some setting spray before I blend it in. And then we're just going to blend that in after letting it sit for a while. And also note that I am not carrying it all the way out. I'm keeping it only right here to really emphasize that inner eye, inner corner, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> it should look something like this once blended all out. Of course, we aren't gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna go back in with a foundation brush, no product, just like whatever's left on the brush and blend out those edges. Take your favorite setting powder. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 10, it's the loose powder. It's like super bright, which is what I want because I don't wanna use a powder that's like too dark. It's gonna completely it's gonna mess up the whole purpose of this video. So don't be afraid to use a brighter powder. And I'm using my powder puff to set this first. Up close, you guys, this looks like a filter already. It's so baby doll smooth. Alrighty, we're baking. I am loving this snatched look. I love a good bright under eye. Now to really make that under eye pop more, you're gonna grab a really nice warm bronzer. The contrast in like the cold and the warm side by side just really does something. So I'm taking this bronzer by Morphe. And what I'm gonna do is only push this right in the hollows of my cheeks to define the cheekbone just brushing it in the hollows of the cheeks. I'm also gonna contour everywhere else with this bronzer, but it's really important to just push it into the hollows of the cheek. All right, so we have the cool, we have the warm, and now we're going to apply a neutral, AKA blush. I'm taking my Morphe palette by Nikita Dragon. This palette is so pretty and I love the shades Sakura, and Nikita and ABG. It's like the pink purples in this palette. I love to use them for blushes. I pop this right on the cheekbone and then work my way towards the contour. Look at how that brought that whole cheek together. So I literally go on with about two or three layers of this shadow to really get it to how I like it. Let me show you guys again how it looks once I start to dust that pink in between. Instantly, just gorgeous. And it's so neutral, so it neutralizes out that super bright concealer. You know, it makes it look more skin tone, but still has that really nice brightness to it. Also take a little bit right up under the eye like that. Apply it to the cheekbone, just depending on the look I'm going for. And then if I wanted a little bit more pink, 
I go in with the shade Nikita, which is like the hot pink shade. And I start here on top of the contour and just work my way to the apple of the cheek so that hot, bright pink is not, you know, right under the eye. Alrighty, we're looking nice and bright. I'm gonna take an under eye brush and go with my James Charles palette, use the white shade from this palette. And also going to dab my brush in this brightening powder from LA Colors. Take about a dab each and start to brush away my bake. So it's kind of like a set and brush at the same time. All right, so I went ahead and finished the under eye to complete the look. We're gonna set the face again. Gonna do my lips and be back with the finished look. Alrighty guys, this is the final look. This is one of my favorite looks to do because it just makes you look so bright and young. And also those filters, when you have your makeup done with like a bright under eye and a lot of blush like this, and you don't even need a filter when you do your makeup like this. It's the vibe, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.